Well, it's my pleasure to introduce to you today Pinnacle Forum partner, Mark Griffin. And Mark has only been a part of Pinnacle since uh, late last, early last fall when we met on a referral from another partner. And we were just talking about that. Mark is an HR professional. He's worked for big, big corporations. And a number of years ago, he went on his own and founded his own corporation. He realizes that, um, that there, there are special needs for Christian business owners and Christians looking for jobs. Uh, that he, That's a niche that he can fill. Why don't you talk about that for a minute, Mark? Sure, Chuck. I'm excited to be here today to encourage your, your, your listeners. I've been a Pinnacle Forums member now. Uh, a little bit over six months, and it has made an incredible impact on me. Uh, the, the the men that are in, in, the, in my group saw my background, saw the input I was giving uh, to, to the forums group, and said, Mark, you need to take all that and take it to a whole new level. You need to write another book. I've written two other books, but they thought you should take a book for these times and, and, and create it. So I'm excited to, to announce Faith-Driven HR, Faith-Driven Human Resources will be a book that we're, we're currently working on. We have a commitment from Brady Pyle. He's retired for the NASA Johnson Space Center. Brady's going to be interviewed in the book to talk about how you can live out your faith as a Christian in a, in, in a secular environment, in a government institution. Christians now more than ever are afraid to live out their faith. Brady's going to give encouragement. We're also going to have chapters for entrepreneurs, for students, for HR directors, for business owners. And we're going to be interviewing some amazing thought leaders, not just Brady, uh, but other folks as well. Thought leaders that you're going to know their names. So we're praying they continue to have interest in the book and that we can announce who those thought leaders will be in the next coming weeks. When can we look for that? We can look for that book by fall. Our, our goal is to get that book done by fall. We're, we're about halfway through a lot of the base information, but we want to make sure we do it right. And we also want to give, give it some time because we know there's some great people out there that want to be part of the book and, and want to be interviewed. We're also, quite frankly, looking for somebody to write the foreword as well. I know there's somebody out there that has an incredible background that people can recognize and know the value of what this book has to offer. So your company is also um, on on your website in his name, HR. Yes. Uh, you're offering uh, diversity, equity, inclusivity training. Yes, we, we, we are. We've been requested to create the training to fill a void because there's many for-profit Christian-owned businesses and many religious exempt employers that are looking for an alternative to what's currently available. We take the training, we do it from a biblical perspective and make sure that it's uplifting, creates human connectedness and is really focused on the strengths of the ind individual rather than a training that's negative or, or, or tears people down. We want something that's uplifting. And quite frankly, Chuck, it's really not that much different than what we did in the 90s when I was working at big corporate companies. People love to learn the differences between each other, but they want to do it from a positive perspective. So if you're being pushed to do uh, DEI training in your company or your or your ministry, uh, you might want to reach out uh, to Mark because he's got something that's got a biblical worldview, uh, and that's not uh, normally out there right now. And Yeah, and Chuck, the reason why people reach out to us is they may be applying for a grant. Maybe it's a Christian nonprofit. They're applying for a grant. They're looking for $50,000 to help, you know, uh, grow and prosper their ministry. They're serving the community. And then all of a sudden they get an email, you need to do DEI training. Well, that's when we step in and we do the DEI training. We certify them, we provide them with the certificate, and then they can get the grant money from the authority. Same thing with a secular company, a state, local municipality may mandate it to them. They go out and they seek the training. It happened last week. We have a, a, a contractor here in the state of Pennsylvania. They want to do DEI training. Everything that they looked at, they felt wasn't appropriate for the work environment. They found us. We're going to customize and create a program that's going to make an impact for them. So Mark, quickly, what has your forum done for you? The forum has been an absolute um, 
push of adrenaline into all the thoughts and ideas uh, that I had that God's put on my heart the last couple of years, but I never really had the great resources around me. Uh, they recommended that I, I write the book. I wouldn't have done that myself. Uh, writing a book is difficult. It's a project many people don't want to undertake, but they're really the folks that are motivating and, and pushing me. Uh, Kevin Mc McGarry, a good friend of mine that I, I've met through the forum, he's out on the West Coast. He's helped me with DEI. He's a, a black man. He's got a great perspective. And we're working on like a blog article that we could share uh, with, with folks about the uh, the black and Caucasian perspective of DEI and how but, we can grow and develop from that. So if people would like to know more or they just like to contact you just to say hi and, and get to know you a little sure. bit better, how could they reach out to you? In his name, HR.com. We have a contact form there. Really easy. You can contact us there. We're out on Twitter. Uh, you could send a direct message through Twitter. Um, it, it's real easy to get a hold of us and look for links in the description to this video, I'm sure we'll have contact information there as well. Well, that's Pinnacle Forum partner, Mark Griffith, hard at work uh, uh, stewarding the influence that God has given him. Thank and you. for more information, listen to the podcast. There's a button right yes. below. Thanks. God bless. Thank you, Chuck.